Hi there, my name is Marnie Homer and I am from Tall Poppies Rising. I am a master NLP practitioner, a master timeline therapist and a master hypnotherapist. Today's video is symptoms of stress and anxiety. So firstly, what is the difference between stress and anxiety? Well, stress can be caused by things that are actually happening in your environment. You could be in a stressful situation at work or you could just have a difficult relationship with someone. This can actually cause you feelings of unhappiness and even fear of what could happen and what could actually happen in the future. And that is when stress goes into anxiety. Anxiety is just fear of the future. You can be fearful of certain situations on how they play out and you can imagine all kinds of things that could happen and play them out in your head. This can seriously stop you from going forward and absolutely achieving exactly what you want to achieve in life. People that suffer from anxiety can be really stopped from functioning in their daily lives and it can really, really cripple them. So what are the main symptoms of stress and anxiety? Well, let's look first at stress. While stress can be a healthy response to challenging situations, it can also bring on symptoms such as headache, other aches and pains, sleep disturbance, fatigue, upset stomach, high blood pressure, weakened immune system and muscle tension. So when discussing the main symptoms of stress and anxiety, it's important to see the difference. The main symptoms of anxiety are hot and cold flushes, a racing heart, tightening of the chest, quick breathing, restlessness, or feeling tense or wound up and edgy. So is there a way to relieve them or remove the symptoms of stress and anxiety? Well, I say, yes, there is. By working with the team and I at Tall Poppies Rising, we can firstly help you to find out what is actually causing the stress and anxiety. We do this by like finding the root cause that's stored in your unconscious mind. And then we work with you in removing your negative emotions such as anger, sadness, fear, hurt, and guilt. We then look at any limited beliefs that you may have such as the I'm not good enough or I'm not worthy or I can't have what I want just for a few examples. There are many, many different limiting beliefs and it simply comes down to what they are for you. All limiting beliefs and negative emotions can be removed from your unconscious mind though. And I highly recommend getting this done. I'm not the same person I was a few years ago and even though I'd spent many, many years on my mindset and thousands and thousands of dollars on it, it wasn't until I embraced NLP that I really got the results I was wanting. I used to have the symptoms of stress and anxiety and now even if the situation is potentially stressful and I still have them, don't you worry, I find I am able to coast through them now with very little stopping me and holding me back. I now know with 100% certainty that I can and I will have everything I have ever wanted in my life and I am not afraid to go out there and get it. So how do the symptoms of stress and anxiety stop you from getting what you want? I would love to hear your comments and opinions below. Let me know your thoughts on this video and how we could help you to get rid of your stress and anxiety. Change your mindset, change your life. Thank you. If you think my video helped you in any way, then do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notifications of my new videos as there's lots of exciting stuff coming soon. You can visit my website, Tall Puppies Rising, and you can also email me or contact me via social media for a one-on-one -on -one session. The links are in the description.